um, with, with regards to what's just been said. But what I will say is that when you have a monarch that is political, he's not a monarch, it, he is a dictator. You do not have people with political views on your banknotes, on your stamps and on your pound coins. You just don't. And it is political. My polling showed last year showed that 58 percent of those that expressed an opinion in a YouGov poll wanted a net zero referendum. Recently, we did some polling when Liz Truss was contending for the leadership that showed that 70 percent of Tory voters and 52 percent of all voters wanted a pause, at least a pause and an examination, a re-examination of net zero policies. If that doesn't make something political, I don't know what is. And as for saying that renewables are nine times cheaper, that is the most disingenuous load of rubbish I've ever heard in my life. It is so heavily subsidised, you can't store wind power, you have to use gas to keep the wind turbines going, which are bought from China, by the way, and COP27 is nothing to do with the environment and everything to do with the deindustrialization of Europe and putting us back into the dark ages. And if people don't realise that, you know, that they really are, really are in the dark, which but we will all be very soon because of all this rubbish. Nice wordplay. Uh, Lois Perry, um, this goes beyond politics. The planet's on fire. We're all doomed. No, it isn't. It just isn't. If you look at Every single actual document and every single scientific piece of information that isn't supplied by people that are at the green trough, which everyone at COP27 is, there are no more extreme weather events. The weather is not unusual. The, the climate is dictated by the sun and, and is cyclic. It's all nonsense. Re recently, 1,100 scientists signed a thing called the Clintel Declaration, which said that they thought that CO2 had no impact whatsoever on the climate and the alleged climate change. If our king speaks at COP27, he's not a monarch anymore. He's a dictator. And I say that as a monarchist and as a royalist and as someone who really, really wants him to succeed. But the Queen spoke at COP26. No, she didn't. She, she did. didn't. She, she said did we should not rise speak. above the politics of the moment and achieve Absolutely. I don't she remember seeing the Queen a, speak a at COP27. A welcome speech, she wouldn't have commented at all. No, no, she was overheard allegedly saying something to somebody. It's, it, it, she, she gave did not a welcome a speech. speech and she said that. I did, I, she, the Queen did a speech. Yes, yeah. well, a welcome speech on the opening night. That's right. Well, the, here's the point. W whether she spoke or didn't speak, the key thing is that she was present at the event, Lois Perry. And so what's the difference between our late great Queen being there and old Chaz? I, I honestly don't think the Queen should have been there either. She was there by video because her doctors told her to stay home and rest. But she was still and there. So she wasn't there then, was she? She was there by video, by video because, link. Because she was probably and it was told to be. to her. It she was not important to her. She, she, she was advised. She, she was advised that she should probably be there. Ship. But she should. What? That she was Sorry, a very elderly she was just lady. Say a neutral welcome. Hello. Have a great time. She would have done that, but she didn't. She yes. About well, she her, her comments would have been written for her, but but King Charles knows what's well, going on. Read it before. No, he knows what's actually going on, and it's and he must not do this. And Liz Truss is absolutely fantastic in advising him not to go. I don't think she should go either. And one other thing, Liz Truss actually voted against COP26 being hosted in Great Britain and didn't want it there. Did it, we thought it was a complete waste of money. She needs to stick to her guns. And King Charles must not attend this highly contentious. Highly political, highly deindustrializing and an anti-human event.